Let a million people try Proactive and receive our legendary refining face mask free if you call right now. You heard it. Be one of the first callers and you'll receive a 60-day trial of Proactive Solution risk-free plus a free refining face mask when you call 1-800-750-1544. Proactive's combination therapy system uses prescription-grade acne medicine and soothing stock-quality botanicals to create a powerful acne-fighting system. It's so effective it transforms blemishes and bumps into clear, smooth skin. You can have beautiful, healthy-looking skin. Put us to the test and we'll prove it. Get your risk-free 60-day trial plus a free refining face mask. Call toll free now 1-800-750-1544. That's 1-800-750-1544. Everybody's talking about me. I guess David McIntosh and uh, David, uh, where can the listeners uh, check in with the uh, Federalist Society? Um, the best place to find information about um, the different legal issues is the FedSoc, F-E-D-S-O-C dot org, um, the website for the Federal Society. Okay, so you got to put a little hyphen in there, right? Fed yeah, that's right. S-O-C, okay, dot org, and if you go to my blog, there's a link there also, uh, Talk Back with Chuck Wilder, blogspot.com. You know, uh, the other thing uh, uh, she was talking about, this don't ask, don't tell, I saw a military gentleman on YouTube who uh, spoke before a congressional hearing, and man, did he do a great job on that. I don't know if you've seen it or not about her. But he no, brought no, up I the didn't point. get a chance to. Yeah, go to YouTube and just look on uh, congressional. I wish I had his name, but I don't have it in front of okay. me. Uh, uh, he's a, uh, oh boy, what is his name? I think he's with the National Guard now, but he was in Iraq. Um, but he pointed out the fact that she has never, ever stated the don't ask, don't tell properly because she keeps saying, you know, that uh, I was against uh, this and the military's uh, decision for this don't ask, don't tell. It was not a decision handed down by the military. It was handed down by her former boss, President Clinton. So how in the world can she, <laughs> uh, you know, beat the bush around that one? Uh, no, exactly. She, she, it certainly didn't prevent her from having a job that then eventually led to being dean of Harvard working for President mm -hmm. Clinton if she thought it was so immoral that that standard was put into place. And she also uh, wouldn't admit that she uh, wrote that memo in 1996 about partial birth abortion. Uh, and I guess uh, 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 Hatch is saying that uh, he asked her three times and all uh, about the memo, and uh, after three attempts, all she would say is that it was in her handwriting. And he says, I suppose that left open the possibility that it had been forged. Uh, well, it was in my handwriting. Uh, well, yes, it was my gun, and it was smoking. You know, my goodness. Uh, yep. Do you think? <laughs> Go ahead. No, you're so right. And, and the, because the Democrats have so many votes and the majority of the media didn't even scrutinize her answers, um, didn't even bother to report to the American people what it was she said or refused to talk about, which was very disappointing. I mean, you, you would expect the media to at least to report the facts. And at one time, uh, she's talking about, back in 1995, about how the nominees for the Supreme Court justice, I think, she was saying something about, you know, it needs to be more in-depth, and it needs to be a, you know, a Q&A that's fully uh, examined and all that, but... She's singing a different tune right now, I guess. Um, I'm sure the, the <laughs> President Obama's handlers all told her, don't even answer questions. We've got the vote, so all you have to do is go through the ritual. Um, and so she followed that, um, followed that playbook. Do you, uh, and, do you see any... And the, uh, and the startling thing is there's still 7,000 emails that never got released. And so who knows what will come out over mm -hmm. the history of what was said there. They may be under some former first lady's mattress. Boy, that goes a long way back. <laughs> but anyway, uh, David, I'll tell you, do, you, do you see any Democrat that might stand up to the president's nominee? You know, at this point, it's become such a, a lockstep question on this. There may be a couple who are, are worried about reelection, but I uh -huh. think the president will, has scared them even to say, well, we won't raise money for you if you don't support well, the, the other the, the other thing forward. is real quick is uh, those that may get voted out 
uh, they may be voting on this and not even worrying about it because they've lost their job already. So that's that's a scary thing. Hey, thank you very much for coming on. I look forward to our next visit. And once again, the website is www.fed-soc.org. F-E-D-soc.org. Thank you very much, David. My pleasure, Chuck. Keep up the great work. Thank you, sir. Coming up, Kevin Coach Collins and Barry Farber. Don't go away. Saving money is all the rage these days. Kind of the end thing to do. Like growing a beard. Will you?